So welcome everyone to the dynamic team session today. Um, today, as part of today's Q, uh, session, uh, we will be talking about what dynamic team is, why you need to think about it, um, and also from a success factor point of view, um, what feature success factor has uh, currently available in dynamic teams. Um, and how you can utilize those features to run a dynamic team, uh, uh, a model within your organization, as well as uh, what's coming up in the future uh, and uh, <clears throat> what are the various exciting news around it, right? So quickly, um, I will jump into a uh, slide deck now. So first thing first, what is dynamic teams? Um, a lot of people are a little bit confused about it. That's what I've been hearing around um, because functionality is very new, but dynamic team as a concept is, is nothing new, right? We all have been doing it in some form, um, different uh, organizations use it differently. But um, if you really um, um, look into the future, a um, few years from now, you'll realize that a lot of people believe that uh, your typical team models will be replaced by a more fluid process of employee organically moving from project to project, coming together uh, with others to get the work done. Um, and then of course, dis disbanding once the work is finished. Um, typically, such a model is called dynamic teams. Um, now, Many employees already participate in dynamic teams on top of their formal job roles. When organizations effectively employ such teams, uh, we expect to get greater benefits out of it. Um, for example, uh, greater agility, increased performance and more engaging and satisfied workforce. Um, of course, as an organization, we should be equipped to uh, you know, track and manage something uh, like this, right? So if, if you look at it holistically, right, even though you are, let's say, working with, let's say, 20 people in a year from various projects to projects within the organizations, there's no real track of it. You again go back to your performance management process and you know, try and um, justify what you have done. There's no trackable way to ca capture what happened, who worked on it, and of what really goes on in that particular project, right? Now, there are some key questions that uh, <clears throat> we'll try to answer with this session a little bit. For example, um, how do team members and line managers see the benefits and challenges related to, talent, uh, related to dynamic teams? How will talent processes needs to change to better support dynamic teams? And of, of course, what tools are you need to have in place to facilitate that? So in short, right, Dynamic Teams is a self-managing cross-functional uh, team. Um, there is some structure defined, um, but the structure is not very hardwired. You don't have a relationship like employee and manager. It's more like a structure that works for that particular uh, activity or project. Of course, participation and performance in these dynamic teams is untracked. Um, so through, through success factor, we're trying to solve that piece as well. You will see that uh, in our demo today. Um, and of course, the most important aspect of a dynamic team is to form a team which can get work done. Um, now, of course, uh, if your people are put up into a model like this, um, we have seen a trend that about 66% um, of the employees are seeing positive impact on their career. They are um, feeling really positive about the way organization is engaging them. And also uh, intention to stay within the organization is highly boosted. Um, one of the things that I would like to highlight is uh, dynamic teams is also a way to uh, for an org uh, for an employee to showcase their skill sets, right? So they may have a skill set that they are hired for, but they may have some past experience or new things that they want to take up. 
dynamic team solves that problem big time for them. Okay, now why do you need dynamic teams? Right. Of course, we talked a few benefits about it, but before we jump into dynamic teams, really, we need to talk about what is the um, traditional way of looking at these things. Right. So, for example, um, you can have a typical traditional team which is formally assigned. There is a line manager. There is a predictable workflow. You follow a process of using. Uh, certain processes that are in place within the company. There are shared job titles or a particular area of expertise, the way you participate. Our dynamic team is, of course, self-managing. It has a rapidly changing workflow depending on the task in hand. It can The objectives of the team can be quickly altered as well, depending on what situation comes in. Um, it is cross-functional, right? So there is a lot of flexibility of engaging multiple kind of people. Um, there's no defined methodology or protocol that they need to follow. It's basically what works for them. That's the motto to follow. Uh, and of course, these teams are formed organically and of course disbanded as well as soon as a particular project is completed. Um, this is just to differentiate how traditionally organizations form teams and what dynamic team is all about. Now, what is the vision of dynamic team towards the, uh, you know, with, with success fact, right? So what we're trying to do here is um, build a high performing team, right? So team members through various technologies available within success factor, um, find team members through intelligent search, um, define what they need to work on, and that should be quickly accessible to everybody. Of course, we are also trying to um, foster a culture of healthy uh, teams, um, allowing built um, you know, trust between uh, team members uh, using the something called this whole self model. I'll talk about it briefly what it is. Um, of course, track the health of a particular project as well as view results uh, within the dynamic teams experience uh, uh, UI. Um, of course, it in turn keep employees motivated, aligned, and informed. Uh, we use something called this OKR uh, experience, which is objectives and key results. Um, this is slightly different from your typical uh, goals that uh, people do in the organizations. We'll talk about that also in a bit. Um, of course, um, it also helps in uh, connecting uh, team workforce to other HR processes, right? So you are able to quickly source people, you are able to quickly deploy people, you have a very wide understanding of people's skill set, right? What skill set employee have, what skills you may need for a particular project is also solved by dynamic teams, right? So one of the biggest challenges, which a few of my customers have told me about, is that, well, they are willing to form dynamic teams, but how do you ensure that you hire the right person into the team, right? The organization may be split across multiple geographies, multiple countries. How do you actually come to know about such people? So we'll show that through our demo, how that is made easier uh, for, for people who, who wants to run dynamic teams within the company. Of course, this is a larger picture of dynamic teams. So if you notice here, um, Opportunity Marketplace is another product that is being uh, launched by SAP, which kind of collects information from different sources and presents uh, an employee with the view on what they would like to do, as well as certain inferred skills where employee can take on certain skills and based on the skill matches, the mentoring programs, learning activities, job postings, career role changes, all that can be recommended to a particular employee. <clears throat> of course, as part of that, dynamic teams also plays a significant role, right? So if you have a dynamic team that you have created um, <clears throat> and you want to source people for that skill, you can utilize opportunity marketplace uh, assignments functionality to source people for your project as well. <clears throat> so we, we'll again talk about this in detail once we go into the, the demo part of it. Now. One thing that you need to understand, right? 
what makes dynamic teams uh, really successful and it really goes back to the life cycle the way talent um, the way dynamic teams are handled as well as the way um, they are they are completed and tracked so for example if you look at really really simple steps right the first activity that you do is of course team formation just after identifying what project you need to execute for team formation you need to source people you can use intelligent search to find people if you know people that are needs to be part of it or you can literally send out a job posting internal to the organization and people can apply to that job and you can uh, uh, recruit people using that then of course it starts the team kickoff which includes uh, what objectives uh, um, and key results they need to focus on uh, what are they here to do right and the team starts working on those assignments once the assignments are complete team is disbanded as simple as that um, so far, any questions from anyone? Okay. okay. Now let's talk about success factor dynamic teams. Right. Now, what you need to understand that success factor has launched dynamic team tool, which is part of uh, existing performance and goal license. Um, as well, where you can create and manage dynamic teams using a very simple and intuitive UI. Uh, a sample uh, is presented here to you and we'll of course see the uh, demo as well. But you are able to uh, build a person-based team structure, right? Um, giving you flexibility to source people within the organizations as well as uh, assigning roles to people within the uh, participating list of dynamic teams. And of course, you can create public or private uh, teams as well, depending on how you wanna um, expose them within the organization, right? The next thing is, of course, um, ability to uh, source team members through SAP Success Factor Opportunity Marketplace. So if you look at it, you can, of course, uh, create an assignment um, and you know send out a job posting within the company and get uh, people to apply from across the organizations and eventually uh, track their progress using something called as OKRs, uh, which is objective and key results. They help you to track team progress towards a common objective. Uh, you have ability to break down your objectives into key results, uh, which are trackable by date, by percentage, and of course, through um, achievements. You can also define contributors to a particular uh, key objective. So there are various situations in a dynamic team where you know, one person may not be responsible for a particular task. Maybe there is a, a team within the dynamic team, right? Maybe let's say two people are responsible for completing a task. So you are able to assign those tasks to those people and eventually follow up on those key uh, results, right? Um, you can also, of course, <clears throat> ask for feedbacks as well within the uh, within this framework. And of course, um, the whole product is available through mobile app as well. So if you already have SuccessFactor mobile app that you're using, you are able to go into the uh, mobile app and access dynamic teams from there. Let me share my screen again and jump into the demo. So this is one of the systems that uh, Talent Team has, right? Um, within this system, we have set up Opportunity Marketplace and Dynamic Teams to facilitate this demo. One of the things that you will notice the moment you activate Dynamic Teams is you get an access to this new tab called My Teams. You can click on this tab to go into dynamic teams. Of course, you can create dynamic teams and these are all access controlled. So you will be able to uh, go back and create your own dynamic teams provided that you have the access. Okay. Um, of course, you can add name, description, and give a nice avatar photo to it um, just to personalize it a little bit more. A simple example that I have put together for dynamic teams is this innovation lab, same 
example that you saw on the screenshots on my slide deck. Um, so we created this team. I've given this team two objectives. Each objective will have a key result, right? So for example, if I need to get uh, 1,000 surveys, uh, you know, responses for my annual satisfaction result, you can break it down and say, finish 200 surveys in Q1, and then of course, uh, finish 300 surveys in Q2, right? And as you can see, you can keep a track on the surveys, the amount of surveys that you have completed, which eventually decides the completion of your uh, key result. So for example, if let's say I come back and say, I have completed my 200 surveys, then my completion goes 100%, and that uh, this particular key result is completed. Right? Of course, you can add more key results if you want to. We need to talk about what the key result is, what exactly are you trying to measure, what are the targets, what is the current achievement values, and what is the percentage of completion um, for this particular um, activity, and by which date you want to target this to be completed. And of course, you can add contributors. And these are the list of contributors that are your team members of your dynamic team. So you can probably say, um, like for example, uh, Omesh and Sandeep is the contributor for this particular uh, key result. Right? And once you do that, you are able to see here who are the contributors against each of the, uh, each of the uh, key results. Okay? Of course, as I said, you have ability to write um, comments. For example, can you please provide me an update? Right. And this will get posted. Team members will, of course, be notified. And then you can expect a response from there in a comment fashion as well. And since it's available on the mobile app, you are pretty much doing this on the go. So that's a simple UI of uh, team OKRs, right? Of course, you can add more and more here uh, using this add option where you can create an objective, you can track its progress with the statuses that are available here. And of course, uh, <clears throat> you can also define start and end date of a particular objective. And within the objective, then you start creating your key results and start monitoring and tracking them. You are able to change the statuses very easily with this new UI. And <clears throat> if you click on information icon, you will be able to see objective descriptions as well. Coming to sourcing the team members. So one of the things you can do if you, when you're defining a particular uh, um, team, um, dynamic team is uh, of course, you are able to uh, define who is the owner of the dynamic team. Now, why we need to define an owner? Because owner is someone who will be able to, you know, um, add or remove things from the from the dynamic team, right? And of course, uh, uh, you can also define a member, somebody who is contributing. That means he's participant of the dynamic teams and they will be able to participate in, in the right capacity. Also, <clears throat> know that you can add more people in a dynamic team. You can either do a search, like for example, if I go and search for, let's say, SA, right? And <clears throat> you can pick anybody from here to participate and ask them to add within the dynamic team. So they will become member of a dynamic team. And of course, it's as simple as that to remove them as well from the dynamic team. Um, of course, being an owner, you will be able to perform this activity. As a member, you will be able to view certain things, but not take actions like adding or deletion. Another thing is that you can actually create an assignment and this particular feature definitely needs a license of opportunity marketplace to be in place before you can start utilizing it. But you are able to create an assignment, right? So for example, I will go back to the one that I've already created um, for myself, right? So. I'll go in here. So for this uh, particular um, job postings, right? For innovation labs, I've already posted a job out um, describing uh, what do I need. So in this case, I'm, I'm looking for a design manager. 
uh, with these set of capabilities. Of course, um, you can add more capabilities when you're posting your job. Basically, what you're saying is uh, that I need X competencies to be at, at a particular level. Uh, in this case, for example, computer skills is at expert level. Um, supporting change is at advanced beginner level. And these uh, competency rating skills, something that you decide as a customer. Once you have that up in place, uh, this job will become available to uh, anybody, right? In the organization, as long as they have access to uh, opportunity marketplace, as well as it will also be targeted to people who are satisfying the competency match criteria. So if let's say Jonathan might have taken a competency review where he might have scored well in those competencies that are requirement for this particular job, then you will be able to uh, you know, uh, look at uh, details of the Jonathan. Of course, when you're defining a particular project, um, you decide whether the participation is full-time or part-time. If it is part-time, then what percentage of time you expect them to um, uh, participate in? What is the work mode? Work modes are typically like either it's flexible or it is on-site or it is remote. You will be able to do that. You can define location and as well as when do you want to open this posting for everybody. So I can go ahead and close the posting if I want to. Um, but you can see here, there are two people who have applied for one person. I have issued a offer letter and offer has been accepted. Um, and for another person, um, you have, uh, the, the one other person has applied. So you can literally go in here, right? Um, and look at the details of the person who has applied, right? And of course, there's an attachment that person uploads like a CV um, that you are able to access through here, right? So you'll be able to download the CV and access it. Clear? Now, if I go back and you can see that Jonathan has accepted the offer letter. If I go back to my teams, right? I will be able to see that for this particular uh, dynamic teams. I do have an assignment created for Innovation Labs and I requested for four people internally. I have got a confirmation from one more person and of course other people will apply and once they get an offer letter from us, they will be joining here as well. Now let's look at how does dynamic teams looks like from a member perspective, right? So let me log in as Sandeep Nahata, who is one of the uh, participants in this list. So as you can see here, right, you have a particular uh, notification mechanism also in place within the product where uh, you can see that uh, your team has achieved the key results. Of course, you can dismiss, remind me tomorrow, right? This is a, a slight a reminder um, and showcase that is going out to employees. If I go to my dynamic teams, I can see I'm part of this particular team, right? So this is first time I'm going into the team. So there is a welcome uh, message, right? Let's see who is on the team. So these are the people on the team. As a contributor, you are able to define your own role Right, which of course will be different from the role that you typically play in your regular job. So in this case, for example, uh, Sandeep Nahata is let's say lead architect. Okay, so he can define his own role and this role will be available to everybody else to see. As you saw from a member's perspective, all those actions that were there for the owners is not available to you. You can of course go into your team uh, uh, OKRs and you can post a comment, edit some details, right? So I can click on edit detail and, and go back and complete, um, let's say instead of two, I said, you know what, I knowledge base articles I was supposed to create. I have done some more, let me say I've done six more, right? And that pushes up your completion. And of course, the moment completion is done, as you saw, right? Uh, a particular notification goes out to everybody, part of the dynamic team, 
on their home page that particular result have been achieved. Any questions so far? As we know, just double check if people are really able to talk or. Um, so I'm checking the chat box at the moment. I see no questions. So keep going. But if I see anything, I'll let you know. Okay, cool. So I hope the functionality is clear to you. It, it's quite simple, right? If I have to summarize it for you, um, you need to set up a dynamic teams first, invite people via search or via sourcing people internally by doing a uh, job posting uh, or assignments uh, through Opportunity Marketplace. Once you do that, your team members can collaborate using the team objectives. They can post updates. Um, and of course, you can add more and more uh, team objectives as well as uh, key results to it. Um, <clears throat> you will be able to see some tips around how to write OKRs, uh, what is the difference and so on. Uh, a thing to note that this currently has no impact on your performance um, cycle or the way you do performance management. Right? It is going to be changing a little bit in the future uh, so that if you're participating in the team, it gets uh, visual, uh, you know, your managers and everybody is aware about it. If your assignment is changing, you will be aware about it as well through the system. Um, but the product right now is an early adopter care program. So um, it's an early adopter. You can definitely go and activate it today in your system, but a release is happening in literally 10 days from now and a lot of new things are coming into the product. And that's the reason of doing this particular Ask an Expert at this time. Um, so please keep an eye out for that as well. So that concludes the uh, demo of the functionality of uh, Dynamic Teams within SuccessFactor. Let me go back to my slide and share my screen again. I hope you can see my deck. Yeah, we can see your slides, yeah. Okay. Now, um, once you've seen the demo, um, I would like to highlight a few things, like what, what does an optimal dynamic team really means, right? So when we look at, um, an optical dynamic team. So what has been found that people do have similar mechanisms in place. Of course, there is no trackability to it as of today, but uh, team sizes are fairly small, between five to seven people. Um, typically, uh, reason the way they participate is, is manager's influence. Of course, manager will come and tell you, please go ahead and participate here, or please go ahead and do that project, right? Time spent is, of course, between four to six months. Uh, they are formally assigned to the trainings. Um, but however, the most positive outcome that if you're looking to expect from dynamic teams for your organizations, uh, we recommend that team member side should be more than eight members. Uh, the reason for joining should be employees own initiative rather than a push from the management. Um, team lifespan can be longer, uh, longer the better. And of course, our leadership type within the dynamic team can be really formal or informal. There could be a project manager who manages it, or there could be uh, someone like a lead architect who basically uh, manages the leadership of that particular dynamic team. Um, uh, structure around roles, goals, and, and processes, right? Um, as long as they are defined in a proper way, right? Um, and there is a substantial number of those, that's also a recommended practice to follow when it comes to optimal experience within the dynamic teams. Right? But what does it lead to, right? Why, why we're talking about dynamic teams and what are we trying to improve on? Of course, one part of it is to give you a flexibility to create dynamic teams within the success active uh, framework to be able to track goals, to be able to uh, give people platform to interact with each other, right? But ultimately, our goal is to improve the employee's mindset, um, you know, uh, to be able to get them to change the way they think about an organization as well, right? 
So one thing, of course, comes to my mind is is um, increase of employees uh, interaction with with the people around the company, right? Because they are participating in more and more activities beyond their regular jobs. It creates a feeling of safety where they feel that they are more valued as well as um, they are more contributing to the organization, right? Um, of course, the sense of cohesiveness within the organization definitely uh, gets the boost as well as people's motivation to take on new tasks, right? So most of the time, you know, and we have seen this problem again and again, where if you want to find somebody which is the right fit for a particular role or a particular project, you are looking externally, right? Mostly people are hiring from externally, but, and that's because of, sometimes it's because of lack of data, um, because people will not know who are the people who has the right skill within the organization, right? And uh, if you use the opportunity marketplace functionality, of course, you will be able to keep track of, of those people who has what skill within the organizations and, and then utilize it to find optimal persons for the dynamic team that you want to create. Right. Any questions? I see something in Q&A. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a question for you, Pankaj. I'll read it out for you. Uh, Will you be able to show how it looks when uh, OKRs are connected to performance goals now, even though it is not available yet? Um, Pia, um, unfortunately, no, not at this point in time. Um, it will be uh, connected, right, um, very soon, um, probably this year. But um, it is very difficult to predict how and what that connection will be, right? But once it's available to you, you will definitely, definitely hear back from us. We'll keep a note on that. But um, in my opinion, right, um, dynamic teams will serve um, as, a, as a one of the ways to evaluate an employee within the performance framework, not in terms of doing ratings, right, but to be able to get feedback, right, from people within the dynamic teams, as well as to be able to see how many uh, projects or dynamic teams a particular employee or one of my direct report is participated in, right? And what was his feedback from those? So definitely that portion will be there. Um, I hope I answered your question. Yeah, let us know if you've got any more questions. We still have some time. Okay. So quickly, right? Um, what's on the roadmap? And these are the, there are many things on the roadmap for dynamic teams, but these are the few that really um, came to my attention. So I'm just presenting these four to you today. Uh, one of the things is um, um, there will be some enhancement made to the user experience and journey, right? One of the things is, uh, of course, giving you a better UI, able to do quick actions, as well as to be able to edit roles for different people, that all those possibilities will be there for you. Um, dynamic teams, um, starting Q2 2023, will, of course, uh, uh, will start supporting uh, reporting as well within the people uh, analytics. So you'll be able to create different reports on these data points to be utilizing um, uh, in whichever you feel your organization seems fit, right? Um, another thing is that uh, integration of dynamic teams with goals management, right? Um, where you will be able to understand and align your dynamic teams OKRs to your individual goals, right? So that's something you can see uh, coming soon, of course, this is roadmap stuff. So I would like to highlight it like a disclaimer that something on the roadmap doesn't mean it will definitely come, right? Because these things are controlled uh, by the product team uh, from SAP. And uh, only when the release notes are out, we can say this for sure, that these things are coming. But something on the roadmap definitely tells you where the priority and the intention lies of the product team, right? 
Now, one of the things which I'm most excited about, which is coming a little bit later this year, which is called skill inference on dynamic teams. Hmm? Now, what does skill inference on dynamic teams means is that, um, well, well, the short answer is that SAP is building a skill inference engine, right? Which will be able to tell you based on the data that's available in the system, what skills a particular employee may have. Um, and let's say if you are participating in a, a dynamic team and you do certain activities within that, based on that data, your skills will be presented to you within the growth portfolio. Um, and within the growth portfolio tool, you will be able to go in and, and say that, yes, I have that skill or no, this is not relevant for me, right? You will be able to have that option. Basically, it's trying to build a skill profile of an employee. Right, which will eventually benefit you again because next time if you go and try to find somebody uh, with the right skill set for a dynamic team, process will be much quicker. Right, system will know whom to present this information to by default. 